Hi everyone, welcome to La Trobe Live. My name is Tom Cattle. And I'm Shaz Gafour. And basically, if you're wondering what this is right now, we're putting on a little show for you all to sort of get a little information about what La Trobe has to offer this year, 2019, coming into the, you know, new semester. That's right. And basically, just a bit of insight about different um, departments or different clubs and societies that we have at La Trobe, because we both understand it can be daunting being a first year student and not really knowing uh, what's out there or yeah. what you can, you know, do to just relax a little bit as well. Exactly. On top of studying. I mean, I don't know about you. When I first came here, I was like lost. You know, yeah, I, had, I, I had no idea what was on offer and sort of what opportunities you have as a student to achieve and yeah. to yeah I mean how about you what was it like when you first oh, I was pretty much the same thing I mean obviously you have your classes you know what you're getting into but it's nice to have the social side of things as well just yeah. to know what you can look into or what's out there you know what what downtime because downtime is so important especially <laughs> during the first year when everything's so daunting and yeah I um, suppose it's good to spend that downtime doing actual activities exactly I remember right. first year I think Netflix was the ah. one thing <laughs> I remember I skipped class like three weeks in a row. I had no, oh, nice. I, had, I had no friends, but it wasn't until I <laughs> yes. found out sort of what opportunities I could, like, you know, fun things I actually like doing. I yes, get, exactly. You know. Exactly. Involved. And the other thing is also, obviously, uh, you know, we've got our Agora, which is where all the cafes and, you know, where everyone hangs out and you kind of get to know people there as well. So, yeah. you know, and then you get talking and you get, um, the great thing is you bump into people from second, third year. They tell you about, you know, what kind of clubs are out there as well. And you kind of get to know through word of mouth, but it's also nice to actually have, you know, clubs out there, you know, talking about what they do, what you can, you know, yeah. get into. Exactly. Your, and you know, it time. doesn't just range from, like a lot of, when I first came I thought it was just a sports sort of uni like mm -hmm. you know how you're in high school yeah. and you might go to a high school and it's like oh cool there's just sport there's just yeah. football or and you're not like, a sporty person yeah always. or it's a drama yeah. high school and oh, you're yeah. a sporty person or yeah. you're just like a guy who likes to I don't know read books and there's no library <laughs> I know, it's a pretty horrible uni but you know we have everything here we yeah. have things from sports to to even like if you want to do sports like Quidditch, we have a little package. I was just going to say yeah. that. You took the word out of my mouth, Quidditch club. It's an yeah. actual club. We're, actually, so we're going to go through that's... that. So we won't, yes, we will. We, will. we, won't, we won't, won't give you too much away right much. now. That's right. Yeah, but there's honestly so much on, on offer for you all at La Trobe here. So that's our purpose. Yes. Um, but first off, we'll sort of describe what we are. So we're just two students, really. Yep, who exactly are just, right. This is the media hub that we're in right now. Mm -hmm. And it's basically a facility where you can come and run sort of mixture of a TV, radio, and online mm -hmm. live stream. Yep. Like, as you can see, this is broadcast through Exactly radio what waves. we're doing. That's right. Yeah, exactly. but it's, it's also, like, broadcast through a screen as well mm -hmm. as online. So you can That's go online right, right now and, and watch this. And watch us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, this, you know, how long, this has been going for two years now, actually, this, this uh, media hub. Oh, I think it's been here for a couple of years, and I was involved with... Um, um, the broadcast last year as well. So I have yeah. a little bit of experience. It was brand new. It's, you know, flashy equipment. So it's, it's really great. I know, you can still smell the paint. That's right. You but can. But we can. actually, you know, we don't need to talk about this because we have a video that will show you exactly about the facilities you have on offer at Media La Trobe. Right gonna... after Welcome to Country. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that to now. Yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> we did good. No, we did. Kai Nareen Bamboo Joy Murphy. Hello, my name is Auntie Joy Murphy and I'm the senior elder of the Wurundjeri people. Our territory takes in all of the city of Melbourne and surrounding suburbs, including La Trobe University at the Bandura campus. Our welcome to country is based on our belonging and these branches of eucalypt are the gift from the land. We invite you to take a leaf from one of its branches. Accepting this leaf means that you are welcome to everything from the tops of the trees to the roots of the earth. It also means you join with us 
to pay your respects to the spirits of our ancestors who have nurtured this land for thousands and thousands of years. My language is the Woiwurrung, Wamindjaka, Wurundjeri Balak, Yemen, Kundibik. You are most welcome to the traditional lands of the Wurundjeri people. What a lovely video. I, I really, I remember putting that, I really liked that mm -hmm. video. Uh, but now we actually have a, another video for you all to sort of check out facilities and things that you can, you can take advantage of here at La Trobe. That's right, exactly right. Just be a bit more insight about, you know, where you can go and what information you can get as well with regards to what facilities that the university provides. Yeah, because they're a bit hidden, I think. They're not kind of out on the open of Agora other than this one right now. Um, so we'll throw to that video now. There you go. Hello, today we are going to show you some of the coolest facilities that La Trobe has to offer. So come with me and let's go and explore the university a little bit. If you are studying media, then you are in for a treat. Here behind me, we've got the Media Loans office where you can borrow anything from mics, cameras, tripods, lights, and the staff are particularly friendly. Then, of course, we have the library. This is the biggest and probably the most useful facility that the university has to offer. Here we have the Ask La Trobe section where students can ask pretty much any questions they have. Now, this is one of my favorite places in the whole university. Now, I am a little bit biased seeing as I am a media student, but this is the TV studio. They've got all top of the range facilities, cameras, lighting. Here we can do a full live stream show operate the cameras and just get a real authentic experience of what it's like to work in a real TV studio. Now we come to the LIMS building where majority of the science classes happen. Here they have everything from science labs to computer rooms. Now one of my favorite parts about this whole area is the sitting area right in front of us. You can pretty much come have your lunch here and then go straight back to class. Great, so now we have an interview with Emil Berdelec, who is a technical officer yeah, at La Trobe ASSC Loan Service. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> welcome, welcome to welcome, the Welcome, Emil. Hello. I know, I know, I haven't seen you for so long. It's... I know, it's been a long time since I was, yeah. you know, back in the control room. Yeah, <laughs> It's yeah. really weird being on this side of things because I'm usually in there helping everyone out. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's good to be here. Great, this great. It's kind of hot in here, hey. Yeah, <laughs> it's like and the nice. lights yeah. get you up. Yeah, it's a good day outside as well. So yeah. I hope you're all enjoying yourselves. <laughs> yeah, I yes. hope everyone out there is having a fun day, smiling, laughing, having a good time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But on topic, we have you here today to talk about the space that we're in. And yes. You know, what you can achieve through Yeah, through the this Media program. Hub. Yeah, so welcome to the Media Hub. Yep. Um, it is a relatively new facility, so this is the reason I have come into La Trobe University. Mm -hmm. It is a live stream facility. A lot of people kind of walk past and think, oh, the radio station. No, we're not a radio <laughs> station. It's kind of a weird hybrid between um, TV broadcast and a podcast. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of um, a little bit in between. Okay. So we, we, we do call it our live streaming facility. Yeah. So it is an audio visual transmission mm -hmm. to a couple of online channels. So we've got, we're going to Facebook Live, um, upstart.net.au. Mm. So can um, you listen to this on the radio? No, no, this okay. is just strictly online. Strictly online? Yeah, strictly online. Really good question. Okay, yeah. So this is not a radio transmission at all. It's just online. Okay. So um, it's kind of like um, if you were to go on Netflix yeah, except we're live. Except, except, yeah, it's a live stream. Yeah, basically. it's a live stream. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay, so, cool. like, you know, all the illegal streams we access. This yeah. one's legal. Yeah. <laughs> Watch us instead. Yeah. yeah. Good to know. Yeah. <laughs> and just another question there, Emil. So what do you enjoy most about working in the media hub? I understand you said you obviously enjoy working in the yeah. back area. But as a holistic sort of, you know, media hub, what do you actually like the most? Uh, the most? Uh, I actually really enjoy seeing the progression of students that come through the mm. space. So um, we support a couple of um, upstart subjects. So they're... Um, 
uh, media communication mm. students that come through and take these subjects. So we have a journalism side mm. um, and a live side, which I look after technically. Right. Um, now, those subjects, if they're in media, they're mm -hmm. underneath humanities, can any student that's in a humanities do an elective in these subjects? I believe so, Good yes. Question. Um but the second year subject, so we've got mm. a, there's a second year and a third year subject. Mm. Um I think the um third year subject has to um, prerequisite. Exa yeah, yeah, you have to be do a second yeah. year prerequisite yeah. for it, mm. yeah. Although I suppose if you're first year and you want to do an elect you have three electives, mm -hmm. you know, over a year or whatever, you could do your first year electives from that and do sort of run the course along as in an, an elective study. Exactly. Just yeah. just if yeah. the got an interest. I mean, they probably might be doing something else, but oh, just to have a bit of a tap into, oh, let's see what media and communication is all about. Yeah. And yeah. they can get a great insight and then maybe perhaps if they really enjoy it, they can mm. actually, you know, change their Go colors. on. Like, it's very fun. If you are interested oh, yes. in film, TV, you know, really anything, you can do things from creative to journalism to sports journalism. There's, there's so, there are quite a lot of opportunities for Absolutely. creativity. Anywhere. Anywhere. Of course. Yes. We have amazing facilities here as well, as you saw in the, the last in the, story. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We have a lot of amazing technical yeah. facilities yeah. that need to be used. So come in and use them. You are welcome. Yeah, mm. the TV studio. Keyword that needs to be used. So did you to. hear that? Yeah, there yeah. you go. And all it takes is a booking too. All it takes really to, you know, go and be a part of the, you know, film something in the film studio. Mm -hmm. That's right. Exactly. Um, and people like yourselves, you know, give great assistance. That's all we really need at the moment. Now, obviously, you've given us an indication of how people can obviously um, get involved. What what real world skills do you gain from it? Ah, good question. So, um, a lot of students come in here um, with not a lot of confidence in themselves in the technical mm. operation of certain um, applications, software, and gear. So they come in, and I um, I show them the basics, week one, how to use everything, we slowly start to build confidence. And like having that critical thinking mm. in a time crunch environment, not only is great for adrenaline rushes, yeah. <laughs> but you are, you're picking up those quick thinking skills, yeah. problem yeah. solving that yeah. you're going to need in that live environment. And it's a yeah. really good place to begin and make those mistakes. Mm. So when you're out there, you're not making those mistakes, hopefully. Mm. Yeah, no, that <laughs> that's brilliant. That is honestly so true. I think when I first started being a part of this, come I do theatre as well. Um, I remember I went and I directed like a short film with mm -hmm. one of the classes that runs mm. sort of alongside oh, media wow. and screen subjects, yeah. sort of intersects wow. between both. First year, that's impressive. Well, this was second year, oh, but okay. it was yeah, still um, impressive. You can do it in first year. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that subject has any prerequisites anyway, though. Yeah. Um, I remember the amount of things you learn from working with a team and having to elect leaders and. You almost, I feel like a lot of the subjects, you get an opportunity to go ahead and experience a mini version of this of the world you're sort of in, in the media, mm -hmm. in, in the media world. Yeah, that makes sense. exactly. It's a little got, bubble like, before you get out into yeah, the real world. Like you've got a student yeah. director, a student cinematographer, a mm -hmm. student producer, mm -hmm. and being able to have that respect for your colleagues and for your co-students, I mm -hmm. think That's that... Right huge lesson and a huge like it's really fun as yeah, well yeah exactly it is a lot that's what it is yeah. isn't it having fun at the end of the day yeah. yeah well we have a little video to throw to now um about something that you could probably create if you uh came and wanted to be a part of the trope mm -hmm. yeah enjoy charlie we've got something really cool right now we do um it is our very last segment yes of the show yes. ever and there's a lot of people that do a lot of work backstage a lot so of people we're gonna Throw backstage, and we're going to let you know and let you get to know. We're going to cross live. Who make us look good. Yes. So, so let's go. cross live now. <laughs> we're back. We're back. Let's go back to the control room. So, please tell us your name. I'm Alicia. And tell us what you do behind the scenes. So, I'm Vision Switcher. If you want to come close, let's have a look. I'll show you some things. So, pretty much. I can go back to... Nice. And well, this is cool. I can put up some supers, show you Charlie Wright's super. Oh, wow. <laughs> Billy's. And some other cool stuff that I can't press right now yeah. because oh, cool. That's all right. you can see me. Awesome. Well, thank you, Alicia. <laughs> Great. Thank you for that. Now, moving on. Sorry, Hello. Nice. What is your name and what is your role on the show? My name is Jenna and I am the camera operator for the show. What does that mean? What do you do? How do you make us look good? 
well, it's hard to make you look good, but I do my best. Um, basically, I set up all the shots for the show, and while the show is going, I make sure the right shots are available for Alicia to vision switch. Cool. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for no that. No worries. Jonah. See ya. Bye. Hi. Hello. So please tell us your name. My name is Esil. And what is your role on the show? I am the producer, which means I basically tell you guys what to do and speak in your ears all the time. Yes, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Now, what's the toughest part of being a producer? Um, kind of everything that comes um, uh, right before the show, Tuesday mornings, um, mm -hmm. because I've got my normal job on and then I've got messages. You guys are messaging me all the time and it's a bit stressful. But then... You know, while the show's happening, it. you guys are amazing, so it's all yeah. good. All right, thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you. you appreciate Lucille. your time throughout the year. Thank you. Thank you. No worries. Lastly, we've got Jack, the hey man guys. the hardest job yes. in television. <laughs> hey guys, how, how you going? Been? Yeah, I've been alright. Um, basically, my role here is to run the audio for you guys. So I make sure that you your levels sound great, um, all right, um, so you're not too loud or too soft. Um, just making you guys sound beautiful, and yeah, that's basically it. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very awesome. much. Awesome. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, everyone thank behind you. the scenes. Appreciate it. Okay, welcome back, guys. Uh, now we have a little interview with Jono Santa Maria. Welcome, Jono. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Yeah, welcome. Hi. Hey. Tell us about yourself, Jono. Yeah, cool. Um, so I'm Jono. I'm from YMCA Global Study. Uh, we're a, a short-term study abroad provider who works mm. with uh, La Trobe University. Mm. So in short, we help La Trobe students study abroad during the university breaks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, all of, we offer like a whole bunch of programs. They run in uh, July and January. Yeah. Um, all of them are designed so that you can get credit. So a lot okay. of students who study abroad with us, they take it as their elective. Mm. Um, you know, oh. Yeah. Okay. That's Very cool. Clever. Lighten your study load. Um, yeah. What and an amazing travel. elective. And travel. Yeah. And travel, yeah. And travel cool. as well. So all that experience as well. The cool thing about getting credit is yeah. that once you've got credit, um, you can also access what's called an OS help loan. Right. So you can borrow just over six and a half thousand dollars uh, on top of your HEX. So interest free, free, really? free, pay straight it back. from the government. Straight from the government. Great. And even better than that, which is a lot better than other universities, La Trobe give you a $500 mobility grant as well. Really? So that, nice. And that's a grant. That's a grant. A grant. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, Did you guys hear that? That is fantastic. I mean, I'm yeah. all, you've already got me hooked. That's I'm it. pretty much going, yeah. Study Latrobe. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That, that's almost seven thousand yeah, dollars that you can access to study abroad for two to four weeks. You know, yeah, that covers everything. Like our programs are designed that they've got accommodation included. They've got a whole bunch of cultural and social experiences on top of the sort of education mm. that you do. Of yeah, course. of course. Um, just like naturally, in a, yes. Yeah, school just somewhere else. Yes, exactly right. You know, somewhere familiar, and, you, and you're also sort of you know, outside of your comfort zone as well, aren't you? You, know, you're abroad, you? You're just looking at, you're in a complete different environment, complete yeah. different culture. So it just enriches you, doesn't it? A hundred percent. And the cool thing about studying abroad rather than exchange, which exchange is still a great option mm. and the Trobe Abroad will help you do that. Uh, with us, uh, it's only three to four weeks, so it's a really small time commitment. So yeah. some people can't commit to the six months that you need for a full exchange. Yeah, no, of course, yeah. Is that yeah. the main difference between exchange and studying abroad? Yeah, that that's, okay, so exchange that's is a minimal of six months. Yeah, exchange is when you actually go and do a full semester okay. or more. Okay. In terms of credits, what's the credit difference, do you think, if you're going to go... So, do, yeah. yeah, so um, so if you do one of our programs, it's 15 credit points, which okay. is one unit, mm -hmm. um, and that's what you'll get. Mm -hmm. uh, if you did an exchange, you would look to do a full semester's load, which I think is 60. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. 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 All right, yeah. because yeah. of the time frame as well, yeah, yeah, actually. Of yeah, of course. Makes sense. Whereabouts do you think you could go? If you were With us? Yeah. Uh, so uh, a cool new one, my favourite, is Croatia. So, oh, okay. Yeah, so you spent with our July programs in Croatia, you spend two weeks <laughs> in Zagreb, one week in uh, Šibenik, which yeah. is like a coastal Venetian town. Wow. Um, we've also got Lille in France, which oh. is like in Flanders, um, kind of in between the Dutch and, and yeah. French sort of speaking region of Europe. Mm -hmm. um, the UK, um, USA is obviously a really big one too, mm. Michigan State University. In fact, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah, we've got three of our La Trobe students uh, on campus today at our mm -hmm. stall at O-Week. So if mm -hmm. you want to hit Dennis Simpson's lawn, um, you can have a chat to them about their experience. Oh, that would be fantastic. Yeah, maybe we'll head over. Because you're getting yeah. it straight from the horse's mouth. That's it. Yeah, yeah, they've all done it before. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. 
So um, what do you think you learned most from doing doing this mm. new study? In the yeah, oh, I um, it's probably really defined my life. I mean, now this is a social enterprise that I was able to start with the YMCA. Mm. So all the money that we raise from this goes back into supporting students mm. um, to mm. support projects that well they done. run. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I, from my study abroad, that launched me to move overseas. I ended up living in Spain and Mexico for a little bit oh, as well. So. Really? Yeah, I still got wow. lots of professional connections. Okay, yeah. So it's sort of better than, I guess, jumping for six months to somewhere you've never been before. You can sort of go, yeah. get a feel for it, mm. get some credits anyway, and then be like, no, nah, I'm coming yeah. here. The, cool thing, uh, the other cool thing is you spend a lot of time with Australian students, which I know is a bit weird when you're going overseas. <laughs> but you build, a, you build a kind of like a family or a network. Yes. It's mm. similar to like Kentucky, where you have a big bus full of people. Yeah. With our programs, you've got like 20 other Australian students. Mm. Yeah. Um, and you use those networks, like you know, the national networks when you get back. Yeah, no, it is. I totally relate. I remember when I went, like traveled around like Asia, you go to like say like you're in Osaka and like snow mm. season or whatever, yeah. and you like go to a bar, and then all of a sudden you meet some Aussie guy, and it's it's nice to have that like you that familiarity. You're basically, of course, you travel to get away, especially Correct. study traveling as well. You want to travel and really learn about somewhere else. Yeah, but it's it's you know. But anyway, Jono, thank yes. you so much for your Thanks time. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah. Oh, really appreciate you. it. Yes. In, Great insight um, on that. If you I want know to, where I'm going to come to yeah. Simpsons Lawn. <laughs> so if you want any more information, you can yes. head to our website or search YMCA Global Study. Yeah. Fantastic. Shall do. Guys. There you go. You heard it straight from Jono. Thanks, guys. Uh, so now we're going to throw to a, a live blog from Andrew Mongan. Hello and welcome to this broadcast from the Media Hub. And we're here with Andrew Mang- Mangan, did I pronounce that right? You did. Mangan, yeah. from, uh, from, <laughs> from Ask Cast, or, or more prominently, Ask Blog. That's right. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Uh, and I first I want to ask you, um, a lot of people that are watching this are university students mm-hmm. aspiring to become media personalities. If you were a university student coming out of university, graduating uh, right now, and you, you didn't really want to get into... A, a, you know, a mainstream media organization, you wanted to start your own thing. How would you go about it at this point in time? I think you would have to start producing content on a regular basis, whether it's written, whether it's broadcast, because you can do that now uh, with YouTube. Everybody can set up their own YouTube channel. Everybody can set up their own blog or website. Everybody can set up their own podcast fairly easily. So I think if you want to get out there and you want to build a portfolio of work, you're you're capable of doing that these days without it costing you too much money, if at all. And then as and when you grow and as you develop as a broadcaster or a writer or a podcaster, you then have this backlog of work, this portfolio of work that you can showcase your talent uh, to other uh, media organizations. Um, so you have that to fall back on as well. Yeah, and just personally for you, you um you kind of found your own niche market in in the Arsenal fans, um, mm. and and you were you were the first Arsenal blog. Uh, what kind of what 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 advice would you give someone in in discovering that niche market at this point in time with so much competition? Well, what are you interested in? What are you an expert in? Because uh, I can only really write about Arsenal because that's the club that I follow. That's the team that I have a passion for. Whereas if you said to me tomorrow, go do a a podcast or a blog about Manchester United, I, I couldn't do that because I don't have A, the passion or B, the knowledge or expertise. And because we play very boring football. Well, look, you know, <laughs> that's that's a different <laughs> thing. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's just about what you're capable of doing and what you're capable of producing. And, and to do your best work, I think you've got to be interested in something. And uh, it's about you identifying what that particular thing is for you. Yeah. And when you first start producing Ask Blog, I guess you, sa- you said uh, over the weekend at Sports Writers Festival that it was something you kind of made on the side. How mm. did you, re- when did you realise that this is something that I can actually make a living off? This is something that I can actually do for money and make make my career out of? It, well, um, really, it wasn't anything that I'd never planned for that to happen. But over year, over the years, the, the site grew and it was bought by an American company who, who were paying me a salary to run the website. And then unfortunately, they stopped paying me my salary and went out of business. So yeah. I had to then think about what do I want to do with this website for a number of years, it's provided me with the large uh, portion of my income. Now that income is gone. How can I how can I start again in a way? So we had to expand the site. That was what we ultimately decided on was to expand the site, to make it bigger, to increase the revenue potential of the website. Um, and, and that's what we've been working on ever since is to, to always try and add new things. Not everything has worked. Sometimes we've, we've tried something and it hasn't worked out, but I think it's, 
it's much better to try and for it not to work than not to try and have regrets that you didn't do that. Yeah, and you have um, uh, approximately 15 years of experience mm. now behind behind you. For someone that's starting up and, you know, they, they might not be uh, confident in front of a camera or behind a microphone and, you know, they might be... My name is Ash. So we just want to first thanks, thank you to everyone who was a part of making that video possible with Andrew Mangan. That was yes. he's honestly one of the like just most intelligent Iconic. people we've ever had yes. come on here talk about sport. He's like just has so much knowledge, and um, I think well, the, I remember the day that he came in, it was just you know very special. Yeah, it was here. momentous, absolutely. Yeah, so just thank him for that. But now we have an interview live with Nick Lambert. Welcome, Nick. Thank you, guys. So you're a sports representative with the Trope Sport. I am. Great. So, yeah, what we do, I guess, is uh, look after all the sports clubs. Yeah. Uh, we run the gym as well, all yeah. the facilities. Uh, right. Centers. So, yeah, what, what kind of facilities are on offer here at Latrobe? Mm. I know we have tennis courts. I always say they want to go to the – I'm not a sporty person. <laughs> we definitely yeah. do have the tennis yeah. courts. <laughs> <laughs> I, guess, nice. I guess the biggest yes. thing that we're excited about is yeah, our yeah. new sports park, which oh, right. if you venture over the other side of Kingsbury Drive, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you'll see a brand new AFL oval. Uh, oh yeah! New pavilion that has nine change rooms. Yeah. Uh, new synthetic soccer pitch. Cool. Um, so I guess that's stage one of what's being built, being completed. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Uh, and yeah. when is it? When is it meant to actually finish? Well, so yeah. stage two is the part that we're starting now. Right. Okay. Um, so that's six basketball courts, if you like. Oh. Uh, just six only six basketball courts. Wow. Just six. I know. That's <laughs> impressive. It's like a lot of basketball. It is. That's I don't great. Know. I don't know much basketball. Great. Strength and conditioning labs <laughs> and yeah. things for students over there to, yeah. to learn about sport yes, as well. So. Of so can I ask as well if you were going to say you're not part of a club or anything like that and you wanted to go play basketball, yep. how could you like say you want to buy a ball? How could you yep. go and like socially? Is that yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, like, yeah. do you have soccer balls on offer? Do you have equipment on offer? For we do that you can you hire throughout from the sports centre. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, but if you want to get to join one of those sports clubs, yeah. uh, they all have their own sort of social media handles and those sorts of things. So yeah, the best thing to do is to, I guess, find a group of people, find a group of basketballers. Yeah. Uh, they train over in the sports centre. Yeah. So we can, I guess, cater for all levels of sport, whether yeah. it, nice. it be yourself, who's not, uh, who's just a beginner, yeah. or you're more advanced. Yeah, uh, or yeah. if you're a pro. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah, great. we can cater for anyone who, uh, who wants to play sport throughout, great. yeah, 26 clubs, I guess. Great. Oh, so wow. if maybe if someone out there wanted to actually, who is, like you said, like, proficient in sport, yep. I don't know what you call that. <laughs> um, and you want to go be a part of teams or you want to go like join a basketball team yep. or badminton, can you like, you know, what what sort of competitions or com competitive versions of sport can you involved? I guess the big one that we run every year are university nationals, which right. is, I guess, mm. moved from what used to be the old uni games. Yeah, okay. uh, so that's a pretty serious competition where we send teams in about 25 sports up to the Gold Coast twice a oh, year. Wow. Yeah, I'm so they represent La Trobe yeah, in everything from basketball to ultimate frisbee to football to right. fencing. Mm -hmm. So that's national. That's so, like national mm. university. Exactly. Oh, wow. um, so we're so trying to... other unis. I'm exactly, presuming, against yes. every uni yep. in the country. Yep. Wow. Um, so we're really trying to send as many, I guess, competitive teams up mm. there as we can mm -hmm. uh, and give people who do want to play that level of serious sport a chance to, to compete against other serious athletes. Yeah, great, fantastic. great. So well, can you quickly... Just before we wrap up, yeah. um, what types of sports? Mm. Absolutely everything. So wow. we have 26 affiliated sports clubs. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so I guess your, your more traditional big ones, your footy, your cricket, your basketball, yeah. uh, to, I guess, your fencing, dodgeball, ultimate really? frisbee. So pretty much any 
thing you can think wow. of that you want I to get involved in. I did see in. something about the Ultimate Frisbee as well the other day. But oh, no, that's fantastic. I did. I saw <laughs> someone. They actually had the club and someone was talking to them. I think yeah. it was one of our other videos going live. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, thank you awesome. so much for your time. You've given us great insight. Us. And yeah. we'll look forward to the completion of our new oval yes, across get the over there and have road. a look. Yeah. Yeah. Certainly yeah, shall. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for that. Thank you. And now we go over to a video um, about our Quidditch um, club. Yeah. Speaking of which. Hello, my name is Astrid. I'm here today to join uh, Latrobe's Quidditch Club. I don't really know what I'm going to do, but I guess we'll have a lot of fun. I have been the president for the past three years which is also as long as La Trobe's Club has existed. In real life, we don't actually fly, at least not yet until someone figures out how to do it, then we're gonna be first in line. We do have to like hold the sticks between our legs. Um, the rule book doesn't allow any sort of like Velcro or like straps to keep the broom in place while you're running around. cross between lacrosse, rugby and there is contact. There's tackling which involves one arm tackles and there is a bit of contact and uh, it has aspects of netball as well. There's the quaffle which is the goal that uh, the ball that we score through the hoops so each hoop is worth 10 points. You can score the quaffle through behind or in front of the hoops as well. Uh, the chasers play like generic sort of get the ball through the hoops score points. The beaters play like dodgeball and they can hit anyone on the opposing team. There's the bludgers, which there are two beaters on each team and they control the bludgers. There's three bludgers in play at one time. If it hits them on the full, then the opposition has to dismount their brooms, run back and touch their defensive hoops and then remount their broom. Uh, so the snitch is someone wearing yellow shorts uh, with the with uh, a tail on the back. So the tail is essentially a sock velcro to the back of a tennis ball in it. And the seeker's role is to try and catch the snitch. And they can use one hand to catch the snitch. Latrobe has been around for three seasons now. In the first two seasons, we only won one match each year. And then last year, which was our best season by far, uh, we, won, we won about seven matches. I first started playing because I had a whole bunch of friends who I knew through various different you know, avenues who all played Quidditch and they all told me it was a great time and I should join and I'll have a great time. I'd read all the books when I was in, in primary school and beginning of high school and then I'd watched all the movies as well before I started Quidditch and learned about it. So I was, I was a Harry Potter fan and, and there is a mix between us in the team. really really fun and uh, I really feel this um, special social spirit on the team it seems like people really cares about each other it was way harder than I expected because it has some physical like aspects as well get me some water <laughs> it was easy for me to attend this uh, this club I haven't seen a lot of Harry Potter, uh, as I mentioned, but I could definitely like still be a part of the team. And it's way more fun than in standing in a fitness center. I love that video. That was amazing. Quidditch Club. Again, so who sweet. would have thought? Yeah, I know. I mean, I like never, I remember in high school, they tried to get us to play Quidditch. Oh, and right. yeah, I like said I had a headache and like went to the office. Okay. Yeah, but that video made it look so appealing, don't you think? <laughs> 
<laughs> it did. It yeah. certainly did. Yeah. Anyway, though, now we have Colm Kumi here to talk with us, who is a member of My La Trobe team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Welcome, Colm. Hi, how are you? Hi, Colm. Good. Very good. Yeah, yourself? Good Pretty good. Yeah, it's not as hot in here as it is outside. So. Yes, nice yeah. and cool in here. We love our media hub. Yeah, yeah, I see. So can you tell us a little bit about My La Trobe and what is it? So My La Trobe is the new uh, communications channel for students at the mm -hmm. university. Um, mm -hmm. So basically um, what we do is we manage five different channels. So mm -hmm. those channels are new social pages that are dedicated to current students. So that's mm -hmm. new Facebook and Instagram. And mm -hmm. you can check that out um, at My La Trobe. Right. And if you follow it, you can win loads of prizes and they're pretty good. Mm -hmm. So the other channels that we manage, we have a weekly email that the yeah. students get every week on Monday. Mm -hmm. um, um, we also manage all the digital screens on all right. the campuses. Oh, okay. um, we also manage the student app. And we've got a new blog as well. It's called My La Trobe as well. Um, pretty much everything that's like in terms of social mm. like outreach with yeah. La Trobe yep. to, to students. Yep. So we right. basically just want to keep the students up to date on everything that's happening on campus. Um, so are you the person I talked to to get those parking permits? <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's no, you. no, it's not. No, no it's so not. What is no. your actual role? So my role yeah. is student communication manager. Right, so it's okay. a new role at the university. Mm. So previously, student communications was a bit broken up into different areas. Right. But now for the first time, we've got a new strategy where we just have an overarching team that looks mm -hmm. after all the student communications. Right. And then all the channels are called My La Trobe. So when you see My La Trobe, that means student communication at oh. La Trobe. Now. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's so, up and, yeah, yeah. Up to date. Have you accessed My La Trobe yet? Not yet. I have I have liked it. Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking, how? No, I have liked it. So how do you access it? So when you get the email every Monday, just check the email out. So yeah. what we have now is a lot more stories about student life, talking about what's mm. the success stories with students, as well as providing all the need to know information about census deadlines, timetabling, oh, yeah. all that student yes. info. So yeah. we just want to combine that information with um, rich information about student life, what's happening yeah. on campus, what's happening with the clubs and societies, mm -hmm. um, people who are doing well. Well, so mm -hmm. it's good. It's very needed. I mean, I remember when I first came, I think I like racked up all of those like fees up because I didn't like defer them. Like there's so many informational things that I screwed up with. I think I did a class I didn't want to do because I didn't know what the health census state was on. Because Someone there's kept, yeah. so much of an influx as well, isn't there? And yeah. it's great that you can sort of go, just like you said, every Monday to check your email. Everything that you need to know is pretty much stated yep. there. So, you know, as a new student, even yes. a returning student, I'd say, because it's just daunting, you know, yep. just coming back going, oh, what do I have to remember? Yep. And it's about getting that info up on social as well. Well, because yes. a lot of students spend a lot of time on their phone, oh, right. they're looking yeah. at Facebook and Instagram, Absolutely. and not necessarily looking at emails from the yeah. uni. Um, so we've got to cut right. past that. That's so we got to yeah. get on the Insta stories. Well, yeah. I'll just interrupt you real quick. Let's do the. We'll actually we'll just tell you guys we're going to do a little like live Instagram story thing. So we'll do that ah, real quick. Oh yes. So <laughs> this is this right now. Tom and Chaz. So we got to take. Tom and Chad Tina. Doing <laughs> the live show with Trove. That's right. Technology. See. Welcome. Yeah, so check out the Insta stories. And the other thing as well, just before we finish up, is yes. that we've got the stream program that's basically a bunch of students. So I know some of you guys are involved. So um, just to give that a shout out, and we're going to see some content from students on all of the channels very mm -hmm. soon. Um, mm -hmm. So it's basically getting more students in front of the camera. So we had two stream students this week do mm -hmm. Facebook Live. Um, mm -hmm of I all of the activities of yeah. for a whole week. <laughs> and it's really cool, it looks it really is, good. Yeah. It's, it's very real, it's very current. That's exactly what yeah. you want, you exactly. know? Just Great. Like what's happening. Well, thank Thanks you very so much for coming in. <laughs> no worries. I uh, really appreciate your time. Absolutely. But uh, now we're going to sort of show you all a little joke video that uh, oh. some of the students made here. It's kind of, yeah, really I hear it's called the dad joke. Yeah. That'll be interesting. Yeah, <laughs> enjoy. Enjoy. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yay. Let's go. What did the fish say when it ran into the wall? Damn. What did Mike Tyson say when he got hit with a hammer? I don't know. Ouch, I'm really Thor. <laughs> <laughs> a red and a blue ship have just collided in the Caribbean. Apparently the survivors are marooned. Didn't do much art in primary school. <laughs> Are you red and blue and you get Yeah I know. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Yeah, I'm out. I feel like we might have to do it. Hang on. What do the Secret Service yell when they're protecting the president? What? Donald Duck. Mm. That's a good one. <coughs> 
What do you call a fat psychic? What do you call a fat psychic? A fortune teller. Hmm. Not bad. How does a hamburger introduce his girlfriend? How? Meet Patty. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you call a fat superhero? Why are all yours fat jokes? But what? The snack panther. Hmm. Yeah, it's a good one. What do you get when you cross a cow and a duck? What? Milk and quackers. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> That's not even funny. Why did the blonde stare at the orange juice container? Why? Because it said concentrate. That's not funny. Why was the broom late to work? I don't know. It overswept. What's the best part about gardening? What? Getting down and dirty with your hose. <laughs> Can you say that? Can we? It's, it's a garden. It's gardening. Like it's not. I'm gonna tap out. Boy, big boy. Am I in the frame? Yeah. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you let me finish. You <laughs> got a laugh. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> really rushed through it. That was funny. How many apples grow on a tree? All of them. <laughs> yeah. Jumpy. I love high five, but I don't know if you did. How do you make a squirrel come down a tree? I don't know. <laughs> Such choking information. <laughs> Just say it. Pull down your pants and show him your nuts. <laughs> Did you actually get what I said? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> What's Forrest Gump's Facebook password? I'm not sure. One Forrest One. Oh. Because it sounds like run. I like movie jokes. Yeah. That's a good it's one. Like a quote. Like when yeah. he's running. These are just oh, becoming. Is that a drop coming up? What did the buffalo say to his son when he left college? Bye, son. Yeah, he did. Mm. No. All right, here we go. Don't do it like this. Bad time to come in too, because I've got a corker lined up. Oh no! Bad time to come in. Did you hear about the uh, cheese factory explosion in France? No. There was nothing left but debris. No comment. What kind of car does an egg drive? An egg. I'm uh, not sure. A Yolks wagon. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. That's a chuckle. Not bad. That's not a chuckle. That's not I a chuckle. I broke him. I broke him. He's laughing. He's That's laughing. It is. That was a chuckle. That's not a chuckle. Definitely not. I'm out. Someone, someone come in. That was like These are no disappointing. Good. I'm, I'm, no one's more disappointed than me. I assure you. What do you call a fake noodle? What? An impasta. That's a really good one. <laughs> Why couldn't the toilet paper cross the road? Why? He got stuck in a crack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave now. <laughs> what do you call a Mexican who lost his car? Carlos. Yes, damn. Oh, nice. You're good. I am good. What cheese isn't yours? What? Nacho cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Bang. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely dad love jokes. That well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed yeah, yeah. those dad jokes. They were seriously dad I jokes. Love it. Have you seen one with like Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, and Kevin Hart, <laughs> Owen Hart? I don't know his name. No. 
even know that one. Yeah, I think oh. they're really funny. Yeah, I, I do. I do. As a whole, I love them. Anyway, though, now we have a representative from Student Theatre and Film, Lakshmi. Welcome. Hello. Thank you for coming on today. Thank, Thank you for having me. Yeah. So, um, basically, Lakshmi is a part of the Student Theatre and Film, and do you want to run through for people what that is for us? So, uh, La Trobe Student Theatre and Film is just a lovely place for people who are interested in theatre or film to just get involved in their extracurricular time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so you don't even have to have experience in theatre to do it. Like, we yeah. have people from all over the university studying law, engineering, science, like, anything. You can be involved. So it's not a class thing. It's an actual, no. it's like a group. You can, yeah. You can go on. So, yeah, yeah. it's a group. Yeah. Um, anyone can be involved. And, yeah, it's a really nice, inclusive space. We mm -hmm. have lots of projects all throughout the year so even oh, if you miss think. one of them you can always get it involved is, yeah. later always. on in the year that's great so you don't um, feel like you miss out on anything yeah no no, no. and no. it's a really really mm. nice inclusive space and mm. yeah um we have uh, all sorts of areas to be involved so not just acting and not mm. just filmmaking but also front of house yeah. lighting stage direction mm. uh writing plays as well we're looking for um plays for our short work season actually yeah. so yeah it's and when a, is that so that's um later on in the year i think around august september all oh, right yeah. Yeah, and so that's just a series of little short like plays that are written by students and then we get oh, some other fantastic. students to direct it and yes. some other students to act in it. So lots of students, yeah. really. Brilliant. Very Student breaks, led, yeah, that's fun. what you want. I mean, yeah. because it's, you know, university students. Yeah, so, definitely. You know, new ideas and, yeah, that's great. Yeah, cool. yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. So if these shows are on all the time, what's coming up now? So what's coming mm. up now? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> we have the Moat Festival. Yes, yeah. you can get one of these brochures from the um, student theatre yeah. uh, marquee like, out show there. Show that again to the camera. I think yes. they need to know what that is. So Come say a, hi. Get one of these. So there's a tent out on the Simpson lawn. Yeah, so ju we're just at the back of the Simpson lawn. The We've got a um, nice setup with little, like, uh, kettle and some... Um, Watering cans. It's, oh, it's, lovely. It's cute. Have a look. And, and beanbag as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Comes I love down. Beanbag. Yeah. Uh, so the Moat Festival is running from the 8th to the 23rd of March, and it's right. a season of about five full-length theatre plays, as well okay. as some student and alumni work mm. as well. Mm. Yeah. Really so, nice promo picture there. Mm. So is there sort of what time that each of these plays will take place? Or yeah. Do you yeah. So there's um, different plays running okay. in different parts of the season. If right. you have a look in the brochure, that okay. it gives you the yeah. full rundown oh, of fantastic. sort of what's happening. Cool. And yeah, um, so these are plays that um, some of our student theatre society students are in. Yeah, and there's, there's sort of like, I, I, I've, I've done a little bit of research, there's like a bit of music theatre, yeah. there's a bit of drag, bit of drag. Well. Yeah, the play I'm doing is actually a drag You're show. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, I'm wow. excited. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know, we want to come see. Yeah, yeah no, definitely. Look, yeah. I think you students here, you're going to see posters all around the uni the mm. whole year. Um, come along. The prices are super cheap. Yeah, it's super cheap. It's fifteen dollars ah. for a season pass, which is so cheap. Yeah. That's like seven shows, fifteen dollars. Or yeah. if you're that's a student union member, that's ten dollars. Yeah, no, ah. exactly. So, so join the student union. That's yeah. a yes. great reduction there. Yeah. <laughs> and that's for seven. So fifteen dollars for seven shows, yeah. or ten dollars for seven shows. Yeah, that's depending a on bargain. Yeah. Yeah, well, so yeah. and we oh, sorry. No, no, um, go for it. We also have our launch of the Moat Festival. That's tomorrow night at six pm, and it's a free event. So mm -hmm. we have an alumni show called mm -hmm. Creatures of the Deep, which has won mm. some Green Room Awards, which is oh, a wow. quite prestigious award yeah. outside of uni, mm. um, in the theatre world. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah that's um, coming along, and it's free as well. So yeah, definitely there you go, people. That. Free. Thank you so much for that, Lakshmi. That's a great insight, and obviously you've given us information on that. Yeah, we very much appreciate it. That's Thank right. Yeah. Thanks for having me. It's been <laughs> no, a pleasure. No you're welcome. My pleasure. Uh, now we're going to go to uh, uh, a little a little thing that uh, was made for the Trobe students and welcoming everyone. Enjoy. Hello, my name is John Dewar. I'm the Vice Chancellor of La Trobe University, and it's my absolute pleasure to welcome you all to this great university. I know that you will find La Trobe to be a welcoming and inclusive place to be a student. Our staff are incredibly approachable. My most important piece of advice to you is if you need help, ask for it because it's there uh, in so many different ways. My only other piece of advice to you would be to join a club or society. We have over 90 of them at La Trobe. It's one of the things that makes life here so rich and exciting. It's also a great way to meet people, to make friends and to build networks, which is going to be a key to your success at university. It's an exciting time in your lives. I wish I could be a student all over again and I really hope you have a great time. I'm confident you will. So once again, welcome to La Trobe. So great, welcome basically. I think that I think that was the gist of that video. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty welcome much. everyone. <laughs> um, 
now we're going to just sort of sit and chat to you guys a little bit about um, some outreach programs we have for students that might want to um, get some help with counselling or, yes. get, you know, get some help with um, any sort of issues they might be having That's or right. speak up issues, no Correct. matter what that may be. Yeah. Just some way, you know, if you want to just talk about things. And because, look, there's a lot of things happening when you come into uni. You know, you've yeah. got your personal life, you've got your, you know, your uni life, and it can be daunting. But we do have services that cater to that as well. If you just need someone to talk to, to help you out, you know. So we and just that, wanted to really highlight that and what we yeah. actually have on offer That's that, that can range anything from, you know, if like LGBT groups and support systems, mm -hmm. if you're going through some, you know, if you're going through some sort of problems with, mm -hmm. you know, um, so basically the facility that is most available for most, for everyone, everyone, no matter who you are, student or staff, mm -hmm. um, you can go upstairs and it's just down this corridor, just, yep. um, on the east side of the Agora. And it's basically a safe space. You can mm -hmm. go there and you can sit in quiet. There's chairs, there's bean bags, and there's, um, you can make an appointment and it's basically a space that you can feel comfortable. That's right. So if something's stressing you out, no matter what it is, if you're mm -hmm. far away from your family or, mm -hmm international or national yep yep then absolutely. then yeah that's that, right that's so space for at you. least exactly right so just so that you know there is a space for you if you need that assistance and now we're going on to a welcome to la trobe story yeah enjoy welcome to la trobe welcome to la trobe Welcome to the Trobe. Welcome to the Trobe. Welcome to La Trobe. Welcome to La Trobe. Welcome to La Trobe. <laughs> Welcome to La Trobe University. Welcome so, back. Yeah. All right. So, um, you know, we did speak about um, about uh, sort of all your sort of options that you have if you need some assistance and things like that. I um, just wanted to let you know and highlight as well for international mm. students specifically, um, you do have um, some portals as well to assist you with. For example, we've got a dedicated Facebook page. Mm. Um, I believe it's called um, the International Students Association. So mm. I think it's it's under La Trobe. So if you obviously want to connect with other international students and, you know, just feel a little bit at home with, you know, people from obviously where, you know, the side of the world that you come from as mm. well, you can go there and, you know, uh, become a member. Um, also, there are helpful resources uh, to allow new national students to transition to La Trobe easily. Yeah. I mean, it, it was dawning for us being locals. So I can just imagine how Yeah, no, it's it important. Can be. Like, yeah. I think a lot of students as well, they move from um, other sides of the country and, you know, having having those places you can mm -hmm. go and have some fun and get introduced mm -hmm. to new people because it's so much more difficult when you come to... Not only, like, if you come, if you're from Australia and you move, say, from Perth to here, mm -hmm. it's sort of like, yeah, okay. Like, yeah. you know, I can maybe, my Uncle Derek knows someone, you know. <laughs> but if, yes, you're, right. if you're coming from, that's right. you know, somewhere in, I don't even know if you're from the United States, like, mm -hmm. that, even that's quite quite a common place to come from. Mm -hmm. Like, you can come from anywhere in the world to come mm -hmm. to the tribe. That's what's so great about being here. But if you, especially if you're living on campus, you can get kind of stuck in in a little in a zone where you don't no, know you anyone you, you, don't, you don't you know can. what to do absolutely so, so yeah. things like you know the global lounge that's a fantastic place for them to also go and you know get some support and also the library has a lot of resources as well yeah. and assistance and i mean i know i touched base on this in the agora i mean the cafes and you know it just gives you a little bit of time downtime as well to get to know other students nationally and internationally as well well there's and actually the clubs there's actually yeah, events coming up as oh, well. right, okay. We have an, an like an AFL introduction, which if you don't Ooh. know if you're international, AFL is the Australian Football League. Mm -hmm. um, probably just like the Melbourne National Football League. Sport, what yes. It. <laughs> it's, yeah. Um, <laughs> I've always sort of, you know, I'm more of a rugby girl. Well, I mean, if you're going rugby, to live in this yeah. city, I think yes. you have to understand Fushy. AFL. Um, yes. It's sort of something that you could like, you can cause a lot of hate or, or, or friendships with, <laughs> yes. like, depending on what team. That's Do you have right. an AFL team? Uh, no, not yet, you don't? but I go with the side. <laughs> I do like the Bulldogs. The I Bulldogs? do like the Western Bulldogs. Okay. Because they're like the underdog. Do you know, the I'm, I'm a Carlton supporter. Are there any Carlton, if there's any Carlton supporters out there, please get a part of, of this like media hub team, I just think. You know. <laughs> 
I just need That's some right. more some more Carlton support. Oh, in this. <laughs> well, there's a little bit of footy for you from yeah. two non. Anyway, though, I will tell you the, people. Sorry, but I we still have you, a team. Yeah, yep. I'll tell you the date for that AFL uh, like sort of international introduction. Um, mm-hmm. That's on March the second. Mm-hmm. Come along. There's going to be sort of you know all traditional kind of showing you what AFL is and just kind mm-hmm. of introducing you to people and like having some fun, especially if you like sport mm-hmm. and you want to get around that sort of like team sport. You yeah, know, that's right. Mentality. That's right. That's and look, again, at the Simpsons lawn, we've got so many clubs and societies rather that's out there. Um, you know, if you want to know any, you know, any information about the clubs that we have and also so, so the, can't even speak properly, the societies, <laughs> uh, they're all in the Simpsons lawn. You can get more information, obviously, on each club and just go and have a chat to everyone there and see if they even suit you because sometimes you might not even think about a particular thing yeah. and you might actually go, hey, this sounds great. We can have some fun too. Like there's actually, there's a second event as well and the second event is like a latitude. If you know what latitude is, do you know what latitude is? No. You know what latitude is? No. You know what bounce is? Yes, I do. You do. Oh, now I know the what latitude place. is. Okay, yes. Yeah. Okay. So you don't know what latitude is. Latitude is like um like a trampoline place where you can go and like it's like a giant ball pit for yep. uh, like adults. It's the best thing ever. Do you ever go to ball pits when you're young? No. You ever in a ball pit? <laughs> I know. I know. Oh, I know. You need to go to latitude <laughs> and like experience. It was. It's pretty much like a place where you are tiny and everything is giant and soft. You can ah, like bounce against things. That's so that, awesome. Yeah. I've heard of that. I've actually yeah. heard of that, but not really experienced that. It's just down Water Del Road. Mm. Well, I was just going to say, speaking of which as well, um, the JMAC Society, Journals and Media and Communication Society, that's also a club, one of our biggest clubs, and obviously mm. we highlight that, being media mm. students. Um, there's a lot of things that they do as well, um, and I'm sure you're part of JMAC as well, and, mm. you know, you've, you've been part of some of their... Um, I don't think I am. I Aren't you? Well, what are you talking about, Jamie? I don't know what is. <laughs> okay, so we'll actually have an expert here to actually give us a little bit more information about JMAC. Yeah. Welcome, Rachel. Welcome, hey, Rachel. guys. <laughs> uh, I was a member of JMAC for a couple of years. Okay. I'm a former student now. Okay. Um, but it was a lot of fun. I loved. I loved being in JMAC. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of my mates are in the exec team, and every year there's an arts ball as well that they run at the end of the year. Okay. Um, but Which here I at La Trobe, <laughs> I was involved in a lot of things. Yes. Um, so I went on semester exchange yeah. through the Global Lounge, yes. okay. which is very relevant for sort of international students. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I went to California for five months, oh, which wow. was really exciting. Yeah, great. it was great. Where did five you, months. wait, I want to do that. Where did you go to California? <laughs> so I went to a place called Claremont, which is oh, in, gosh. it's about an hour from LA. Yeah. Um, and north? it's northeast. It's near the San Gabriel Mountains. So oh, like okay. on that, is it like near that drive where you go from like LA to San Francisco, like that long beach drive? No, no, it's, it's opposite there. side. Oh, opposite side. Right. Opposite side. It's up the other way. Mm. Oh, okay. um, but it's beautiful. Mm. And really through the Global Lounge, you can go to pretty much any country you want to go to as long as it's safe, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um, so but they've got a listing of all the countries. And can you, do, can you choose or do you, you can to, choose? Oh, you can. So Excellent. there's two different processes. Mm-hmm. There's the ICEP process and right. there's the Latrobe process. And so okay. Latrobe have a specific set of partners uh, just through the university. Mm -hmm. But if you don't want to go to any of those universities and you're a little unsure, La Trobe also has a partnership with something called ISEP, which is the International Students Exchange Program. And so they just have... I think it's well over a hundred different colleges that you can choose to go to, which is amazing. That's a lot. Um, Okay. In pretty much any... All of the continents, yeah, yeah, yeah. all of them. It's it's amazing. Um, So I went through ISEP, so I had a bit more... And is there any credit yeah. programs to do mm. with that kind of stuff? Absolutely. So I completed a full semester while mm-hmm. I was overseas um, and I took my electives with me. So when I came back, all I had to do was complete the core subjects. Oh, fantastic. Awesome. Yeah. That's that wonderful. Is, I wish I wasn't at the end of my degree. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's brilliant. And the thing is, you know, if you're a student, you think I could never go overseas for five months. It's too expensive. Mm. There's actually uh, a hex loan that you can get, which you pay off with your hex debt. Mm. And you can also... That everyone's eligible for a fifteen hundred. It might have gone up to two thousand now mm-hmm. dollar scholarship. Right. Wow. Um, wow. As well as there are plenty of other scholarships you can apply so for. So that scholarship as well. is that paid sort of like for your like living there and like your yeah. You so know, I use that to pay for my flights. Right. Um, oh, yeah, okay. So you with, pay for your flights, but then yeah. everything else is yeah. Yeah. Covered. So what happens is um, you don't pay for any of the education over there. Yeah. It yes. just counts as a Latrobe semester. As, yeah. Yeah. 
which is brilliant. And then yeah. it's just really food and accommodation, oh, which fantastic. is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Oh, that, that sounds wonderful. Like, I, think yeah. I am going to look into that further. Yeah. So it makes yeah. a difference when you speak to someone who's actually been there. So you get oh, more insight. Absolutely. The, well, it's you know, great for it, watching, yeah, you know, like, because I was a student that could have done that and I didn't because I didn't know about it. Well, there you go. And I would have done it. Now is your time. Yeah. See, That's ISEP's right. not really talked about that much no. at La Trobe because no. uh, students always Second think that it's shit, too expensive to go. Know. But it's That's right. It's very accessible as long as you're willing to put a, put in the hard yards to go. Yeah. There's a lot of forms and obviously you have to go for your visa yeah. and everything like that. Mm. But it's so worth it. I would go yeah. back on the long run. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look at you. You're just beaming talking about it. So I can just <laughs> imagine how amazing it might have been. Yeah. Good countries. That's amazing. Yeah. I actually got back uh, a year ago, just over a year ago, but still, yeah, I get asked it's about it quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> Well, all right. So I think that's almost a wrap up. That's for that's us. about it. And it's so, been wonderful having, yeah. you know, thank you for Tom for a co-host and Rachel as well, giving us an insight. Of, and you, you Shazma. Know. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that's been great. It's always good to sort of come out here and talk about things that we already know because we were students yeah. as well. And you know, it's important to you know be able to give you all that information that we actually have at that at La Trobe University. It's fun, and honestly, if you want to sort of sit where we're sitting right now you want to be a part of this you think you could do this do this better you think you're better than you know you could do this better <laughs> than us come along give it a go you can Absolutely. totally no matter who you are you know you can come and you can you know be a part of at least in some small way whether that's behind the scenes you don't have to be in front of the camera or in front of the mic you can choose we've got several you know positions that you can get into but you know just yeah. to get an insight come over here talk to us where you know on social media and there you go. And look, I want to take this opportunity as well to thank mm. everyone who's involved today. Yeah, well, thank everyone. Everyone, everyone as that's well. helped us and put this together. yourself, who've, who's done a lot more work than I have. <laughs> oh, no, we've all done. We've all done equal work. Yeah, and yeah. Momina as well, um, who's also yeah. all Thanks in the back. Because we always here. tend to forget people at the back. Rock. These, These guys, guys are, like, are the reasons we're here. They so make us they feel make it wake happen. Up in the morning. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, everyone, thank you so much for listening to this today. Um, I hope I see all your faces around uni this year. I hope so too. It's been a pleasure. Bye. Enjoy. Bye bye. <laughs>